Hello YouTube, my name is Phantom and welcome to the highlights for round 3 of Madden Madness. It was a pretty crazy round with some upsets along the way and some crazy plays too. This video marks the end of round 3 and the beginning of round 4. There are only 3 games left now so this is going to be really good. Like the video if you're looking forward to seeing how this ends and subscribe to keep up with the action as it happens. Tell us in the comments below, who do you think will win? Thanks for watching, and as always, it's time to get going. Without further ado, here are the highlights for round 3 of Mad Madness. Enjoy! First up, Jets and Raiders. Jets strike first the long field goal to make it 3-0, with 4.5 left in the third. It was the first scoreless first half in Mad Madness ever. Carr, on the next drive, forces a ball that gets intercepted, and intercepted by Roberts, who takes it home. Jets lead 10-0. try to atone and score with the first play of the fourth quarter Carr hands it to Lynch who splits the gap for a run in touchdown 10 to 7 Jets the Raiders have a chance to take the lead late but on this fourth and 12 Carr forces the ball and Roberts picks it again Jets survive 10 to 7 they move on next it's the Vikings and Bucks Minnesota strikes first with this short kick near the middle of the second to make it 3-0. Same quarter, Vikings hit another field goal to make it 6-0. Under 3 to play, Bucks have the chance to take the lead, but just look at all these penalties. First it's an encroachment. Next it's a false start. Then it's going to be an offensive hold. Then another encroachment. Another false start. Then the play is finally complete. Winston scrambles for five yards. Next shot is a short completion for a gain of five. Fourth and goal, they go for it. Winston throws and gets the touchdown, but a flag down, what do you know? The offense, offensive hold pushes the Bucks back 10 yards. And another flag. The false start pushes the team back to the 19, where they still go for it and fail. Seven flags over three plays, incredible. Minnesota wins 6-0. Third up, Browns and Titans. First score comes with about four minutes left in the first half on this halfback draw for Duke Johnson. Browns lead 7-0. Browns get a chance to go up two scores, but it's blocked and ran back by Cyprian all the way home. Could have been 10-0, but instead it's a tied ball game at 7. Browns get another chance to take the lead, but they missed the long kick, still 7-7. Near the end of the third, Mariota finds the ex-Bronco Eric Decker on the slant route to make it 14-7. With two and a half to play, Titans knock down a field goal and make it a 10-point game. And Tennessee is able to get a stop and run the clock out. Browns had it several chances but fall short, losing 17-7. Last up, it's the Seahawks and Cowboys. Cowboys get on the board first with this run by Ezekiel Elliott to the left. Untouched to the end zone, and the Cowboys lead 7-0. Seahawks get a chance to get three right before the half, but with no timeouts, they decide to run it. McKessick doesn't get there, and the Seahawks' aggression bites them. Time runs out, and Seahawks get nothing. However, they get another chance to tie, but they have to settle for three 7-3 Cowboys. Third and six with a chance to pick up the first down and end it, and Cowboys decide to take a knee. They're in field goal range, and Bailey hits a field goal with 11 seconds left. 10 to three Cowboys. Wilson takes a few Hail Marys, but it's futile. Seahawks had chances, but couldn't show up when it counted most. Cowboys win 10 to three. So there you have it. 
Next week it's going to be Jets and Titans and Cowboys and Vikings. I can't wait to see what happens. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to stay up to date on all things Madden Madness, and be sure to let me know who do you think wins this thing. Thanks for watching, and as always, this is Phantom Roy saying, have a good one.